hey, there's new movies. I just put up a speed review and found out in the comment section, there's a new movie. It's called Extraction. What can I say? I've just been on a roll with, with the retro movies and that's right. I got to keep an eye on those streaming services. My bad. Oversight on my part. Anyhow, let's talk about Extraction. So Extraction stars Chris Hemsworth in Bangladesh. There was this high profile kid, he's been kidnapped. So Chris Hemsworth, he's a soldier, special ops. It seems pretty special to me. I mean, <laughs> when Thor's in the military, it's special now. Anyhow, he goes in there to get the kid and that's right, extract him. And really, I feel like this is gonna be a short review because this is what I gotta say about it. If you are here to see Chris Hemsworth kick a lot of ass and John Wick his way through a bunch of nameless soldiers in the name of getting this kid out of harm's way, hey, I got the movie for you. <laughs> First I was watching this movie and I was like, all right, so a kid gets kidnapped and the soldier has to get him. How do these Avengers people pick their other projects that aren't Marvel? Do they just find the script that sounds like the metric fucktillion number of other movies that are just like it? Then the shit started going down. The firefights began and I was like, oh. <laughs> This is damn entertaining. It just was, man. And thank you, John Wick, for making action movies like this up their game. I don't necessarily want every shooter action movie to be like John Wick, because when everyone's like John Wick, when, when everyone's special, that means no one is. However, it's pretty entertaining to see Chris Hemsworth chew through these soldiers. Damn, I just love a good hit in a movie like this. And this movie has some solid hits. Whether it's the bullets people are taking, whether it's Chris Hemsworth taking a body and clubbing someone else in their body with the body. This movie is an action movie that has really entertaining action. Also, this movie's really violent, gratuitous, maybe, but also entertaining and I also appreciate a movie that goes there when a lot of other movies wouldn't. Like there's this messed up scene where someone takes a kid and just chucks him off a roof. I was like, oh, okay. Would a lot of movies do that? No, but it also effectively illustrated how shitty these bad guys are. Also, there's this one dude hot on Hemsworth's tail. I was like, this guy's like the Terminator. The action sequence he was involved in was filmed to look like it was one shot. It was really effective. Sometimes it was really smooth. Sometimes it looked like the car scene in War of the Worlds, which looked awesome when it first came out, but it hasn't aged so well. You know what scene I'm talking about, right? You know, like put him up and Dakota Fanning's all crying in the, you know. That's it. That's what I can say. Sometimes everything looked perfectly real. Other times I was like, that is CGI. Like there were plenty of car wrecks and car crashes in this movie where I was like, that was amazing. Then there was one in particular I could think of. I was like, that was CGI as fuck. I don't know if they ran out of time or budget or it has something to do with the quarantine where they're like, we can't put the finishing touch at that, whatever. Let's just put it out. Possible, like they can't finish this season of The Walking Dead for that reason. So I guess that's postponed until until? I don't know, but some things in this movie looked amazing. Other times you could tell it's CGI. Doesn't change the fact that when the guns are going down, when we're just going on that metric, solid entertaining shit. And that dude who reminded me of the Terminator for a large section of the movie, it actually has a really personal moment with him. I will say none of the side characters really stand out. This is the Chris Hemsworth show. I mean, David Harbour's even in the movie and he's the one who stands out the most for the brief scene he's in. But for the most part, it's the Chris Hemsworth show. It's the Chris Hemsworth show with Chris Hemsworth kicking a lot of ass in that John Wick kind of way. A couple times it slows down. I was like, okay, we're burning daylight here. If we can get back to the bullets and the blood, I, I wouldn't hate that. For the most part, anyway. Well, there's a pretty touching moment with Chris Hemsworth and that was nice. You know what I mean. For the most part, bring on the bullets in the slaughter. That is to say, that's what the movie has going for it, but that's what the movie does really well. So as I said before, earlier in this review, I'll just play the clip again. If you are here to see Chris Hemsworth kick a lot of ass and John Wick his way through a bunch of nameless soldiers in the name of getting this kid out of harm's way, hey, I got the movie for you. And that is simply that. Long story short, Extraction was a pretty damn good time. No alcohol required. All right, so Extraction, it's on Netflix right now. I suppose I should tell you what streaming service it's on. Have you seen it? What did you think about it? Whatever you thought, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more.